Hey there, how's everybody doing? My name is Mark, also known as DJNSM. You can find me on Twitter using the handle DJNSM or go to my website, DJNSM.com. I'm taking a few minutes here to show you some of the down and dirty, quick and easy tricks that you need to know to map the Livid Instruments bass controller in Ableton. And what I'm going to show you is how to access the note versus CC. And uh, just to refresh your memory, the bass controller on all the pads... The, you have the ability to send out both a CC, a continuous controller command, as well as a note value. So I'm using all default values. My goal with the bass is to try to get my awesomeness happening without using the livid ev editor, and I think it's going to be possible, but it's still pretty early. This is not even a full day with the controller. So here we go. I'm going to show you what the issue is and then how to get around it, then we'll move on to the sliders. So. Entering MIDI map mode in Ableton, I'm going to select this clip slot for mapping right here, and I'm just going to press it, and you see we get note 1, C3, channel 1, note C, octave 3, so same thing for all these other ones, and if you just start pressing around, you'll notice that you'll get some CCs, and just getting sloppy, and it seems sort of random. No, it's not random. What we have here is a type of functionality that is, is almost identical to how DJ Tech Tools chose to deal with this problem in their newer operating system for the MIDI Fighter, where you need to use a second button to access the CC controller. So I'm going to do it a few times here on the pads first, then the slider. So here is your instructions. What you want to do is first make contact with the pad you want to map, hit a second pad, release the second pad, and then pull your finger off of the first pad and there we go we have 160 going to the right one we should have channel 1 CC number 61 we're going to do the same thing mapping here we go make contact with the pad press a second pad release the second pad and then release the first pad and there you go one more time we're going to do it on the third pad here this should be channel 1 number 62 so make contact with the pad you see we have the note value in there hit a second pad, release the second pad, release the first pad. So there we go, we have the, the uh, number one, two, three on the top here map, so just showing you that they are firing off the clip slots, okay? That is that. Now the same method is how is applied to your volumes or your, your non-boolean event, your, your anything that has a range, you know, your sliders and knob type of events. So it's basically the same thing the way that I've figured out the easiest and, and most, most reliable way to do it is a little extra kick to it. So here we go. If you just click on your volume control here and you assign something, what do you get? You get note C2. Not going to help us. Now that note is really valuable and you can do some amazing things with it, but we need the continuous controller that's underneath it. And this should be, again, we're on channel one. This should be number one out of the default mapping. So here's how you gain access to it. I'm just going to delete that to clean it up. What you want to do is the same thing as a button with a little bit of a kick, okay? First, hit the slider that you want to assign, and you'll pick up that note value. Then hit a second slider. I usually give a little wiggle on it. Then release the second slider and slide on the first one to make sure it catches. The extra kick is the wiggle on the second and then the slide at the end. You don't have to do it, but it does contribute to the reliability of the mappings. And I've just been doing this for a while, and that particular pattern works every time. So let's do it one more time here. I'm going to walk you through really slow. No, not really slow, a little slower. The first thing you want to do, and we're going to map the second slider here. First thing you want to do is make contact with the slider that you want to assign. So we've picked up a note D2. Then you want to make contact with a second slider. I give it a little wiggle, release the second slider, and then give a little bit of a push as I pull away from the target that I want to map. And you'll see that we have 1-1 one, one, and 1-2 one, mapped. So again, we have results. Isn't that just awesome? So that's what you need to know to gain access to the CCs. The default mode in, in the Livid controller seems to be note first, CC second, access the CC via this sort of hackery. I love it. This works totally fine for me. And uh, if uh, I did not see this clearly in the wiki or the manual, I could have missed it because I have a short attention span. So I hope this video helps. Give me a thumbs up and uh, I will get some more videos out there because the bass is just kicking some major butt. I'm loving it. So until next time, my name is Mark, DJNSM. Go to DJNSM.com to find me and chat about the coolness that is grid performance. Until then, I'm out.